In mathematics, a moment is a specific quantitative measure used in both mechanics and statistics of the shape of a set of points. If the points represent mass, then the zeroth moment is the total mass. The first moment divided by the total mass is the center of mass. And the second moment is the rotational inertia. If the points represent probability density, then the zeroth moment is the total probability. The first moment is the mean. The second central moment is the variance. The third moment is the skewness. And the fourth moment is the kurtosis. The mathematical concept is closely related to the concept of moment in physics. For a bounded distribution of mass or probability, the collection of all the moments uniquely determines the distribution. Significance of the moments The nth moment of a real-valued continuous function f of a real variable about a value c is it is possible to define moments for random variables in a more general fashion than moments for real values, c moments in metric spaces. The moment of a function, without further explanation, usually refers to the above expression with c equals zero. For the second and higher moments, the central moments are usually used rather than the moments about zero, because they provide clearer information about the distribution's shape. Other moments may also be defined. For example, the nth inverse moment about zero is and the nth logarithmic moment about zero is the nth moment about zero of a probability density function f is the expected value of xn and is called a raw moment or crude moment. The moments about its mean mu are called central moments. These describe the shape of the function, independently of translation. If f is a probability density function, then the value of the integral above is called the nth moment of the probability distribution. More generally, if f is a cumulative probability distribution function of any probability distribution, which may not have a density function, then the nth moment of the probability distribution is given by the riemann stieltz jess integral where x is a random variable that has this cumulative distribution f, and d is the expectation operator or mean, when then the moment is said not to exist. If the nth moment about any point exists, so does the th moment about every point. The zeroth moment of any probability density function is 1, since the area under any probability density function must be equal to 1. Mean the first raw moment is the mean. Variance the second central moment is the variance. Its positive square root is the standard deviation sigma. Normalized moments The normalized nth central moment or standardized moment is the nth central moment divided by sigma n, the normalized nth central. Moment of these normalized central moments are dimensionless quantities, which represent the distribution independently of any linear change of scale. For an electric signal, the first moment is its DC level, and the second moment is proportional to its average power. Skewness The third central moment is a measure of the lopsidedness of the distribution. Ever symmetric distribution will have a third central moment, if defined, of zero. The normalized third central moment is called the skewness, often gamma. A distribution that is skewed to the left will have a negative skewness. A distribution that is skewed to the right will have a positive skewness. For distributions that are not too different from the normal distribution, the median will be somewhere near mu minus gamma sigma 6, the mode about mu minus gamma sigma 2. Ketosis The fourth central moment is a measure of the heaviness of the tail of the distribution, compared to the normal distribution of the same variance. Since it is the expectation of a fourth power, the fourth central moment, where defined, is always positive, and except for a point distribution, it is always strictly positive. The fourth central moment of a normal distribution is 3 sigma 4. The ketosis kappa is defined to be the normalized fourth central moment minus 3. Some authorities do not subtract 3, but it is usually more convenient to have the normal distribution at the origin of coordinates. 
If a distribution has heavy tails, the ketosis will be high. Conversely, light tail distributions have low ketosis. The ketosis can be positive without limit, but kappa must be greater than or equal to gamma 2 minus 2. Equality only holds for binary distributions. For unbounded skew distributions not too far from normal, kappa tends to be somewhere in the area of gamma 2 and 2 gamma 2. The inequality can be proven by considering where t equals sigma. This is the expectation of a square, so it is non-negative for all a, however it is also a quadratic polynomial in A. Its discriminant must be non-positive, which gives the required relationship. Mixed moments Mixed moments are moments involving multiple variables. Some examples are covariance, coskewness and co-ketosis. While there is a unique covariance, there are multiple co-skewnesses and co-ketoses. Higher moments high order moments are moments beyond fourth order moments. As with variance, skewness, and ketosis, these are higher order statistics involving nonlinear combinations of the data, and can be used for description or estimation of further shape parameters. The higher the moment, the harder it is to estimate, in the sense that larger samples are required in order to obtain estimates of similar quality. This is due to the excess degrees of freedom consumed by the higher orders. Further, they can be subtle to interpret, often being most easily understood in terms of lower order moments. Compare the higher derivatives of jerk and jounce in physics. For example, just as the fourth order moment can be interpreted as relative importance of tails versus shoulders in causing dispersion, the fifth order moment can be interpreted as measuring relative importance of tails versus center in causing skew. Transformation of center since where is the binomial coefficient? It follows that the moments about B can be calculated from the moments about a by cumulants. The first moment and the second and third unnormalized central moments are additive in the sense that if x and y are independent random variables, then, in fact, these are the first three cumulants and all cumulants share this additivity property. Sample moments. For all k, the kth raw moment of a population can be estimated using the kth raw sample moment applied to a sample x1, xn drawn from the population. It can be shown that the expected value of the raw sample moment is equal to the kth raw moment of the population, if that moment exists. For any sample size n, it is thus an unbiased estimator. This contrasts with the situation for central moments, whose computation uses up a degree of freedom by using the sample mean. So for example an unbiased estimate of the population variance is given by in which the previous denominator n has been replaced by the degrees of freedom n minus 1, and in which refers to the sample mean. This estimate of the population moment is greater than the unadjusted observed sample moment by a factor of and it is referred to as the adjusted sample variance, or sometimes simply the sample variance. Problem of moments. The problem of moments seeks characterizations of sequences mu n. n equals 1, 2, 3. That are sequences of moments of some function f. Partial moments. Partial moments are sometimes referred to as one-sided moments, the nth order lower and upper partial moments with respect to a reference point R, may be expressed as partial moments are normalized by being raised to the power 1 n. The upside potential ratio may be expressed as a ratio of a first-order upper partial moment to a normalized second-order lower partial moment. They have been used in the definition of some financial metrics, such as the Sortino ratio, as they focus purely on upside or downside. Central moments in metric spaces. Let be a metric space, and let B be the Borel sigma algebra on M. The sigma algebra are generated by the d-open subsets of M. Let 1 p infinity. 
the pth central moment of a measure mu on the measurable space about a given point x 0 m is defined to be mu is said to have finite pth central moment if the pth central moment of mu about x 0 is finite for some x 0 m this terminology for measures carries over to random variables in the usual way if is a probability space and x omega m is a random variable then the pth central moment of x about x 0 m is defined to be and x has finite pth central moment if the pth central moment of x about x 0 is finite for some x 0 m.